everyone, Nicole here. And today I have with me Samantha. So I don't know too much about Samantha. Uh, I know that her energy is pretty subtle. Um, she gets my attention if she needs to. Um, but for the most part, I don't really know that much about her. <clears throat> so I hope today um, I will learn more about who he or she is and you know all of the questions that go along with that and um, and I'm looking forward to it so with that being said we can get started so hi Samantha I am Nicole and I have a bunch of tools all over the place that you can use and I will go through all of them with you that way you can use them to communicate with me and to let me know that you're here. So these little round balls here, I have three on the table and then over there on the other table where I have the candles, there are three other balls. And if you touch them or move them, interact with the blinky balls in any way, they will begin to blink. This right here is an EMF detector. So if you stand next to it and or if you even touch it, <clears throat> you can make the lights on the detector go off. So they're up to five lights and the stronger your energy, energy, if I could speak English tonight, the stronger your energy, the more lights will light up. I also have over there on the table with the candles, um, a flashlight. And so you can use the flashlight to let me know that you're here and to communicate by turning the top of the flashlight to turn it on. And we can even do yes, no questions with those. Yes being turning the flashlight on, no be turning the flashlight off. So if at any point you want to use the flashlight, you can. Then there's a white disc, a small circular white disc at the end of the table with the candles on it. And if you touch that or go near it, it will light up. We have the spirit box as well but I will not be using that right away. Actually, what I do wanna do is I bought what I'm hoping is a better laser grid. And so let me just get this set up because I would love to use this to detect any motion going on behind the table where I have uh, this vessel. So he's hoping that this laser grid works better than the other one because I don't know if it was spirit or if it was just not a great uh, laser grid in general, but the batteries died, I mean, within minutes. This had better uh, reviews. So let's see. I'm actually going to put this right there. I think actually, put it right there. That seems like a, a better place for it to go. Okay, so right here on the table, we have an EVP recorder. If you talk directly into that, into the red light, I will be able to hear your responses when I play it back. And like I said, with the spirit box, I will be using that later. Um, and you can speak directly through the spirit box. It'll scan through channels, creating a white noise that you can use to say your answers. And I will be able to hear them. So um, if you want to give me a sign that you're here. And I know it's tough to gather your energy to interact with these tools. None of these tools will hurt you. I mean you no harm. I come to you with the utmost respect and kindness. And I just want to learn more about you. And the life that you lived and more about you now as a spirit. So my first question, Samantha, is can you please tell me what your actual name is? How 
old are you? Are you a child? If you are a child, are you a little boy? Are you a little girl? Are you an adult? If you are an adult, are you a man? Are you a woman? You don't have to be afraid. You can come close. None of these tools will hurt you. Where are you from? know that you have passed away? What year did you pass away?
someone greet you when you crossed over? If someone greeted you, who was it? Can you see me? If you walk in front of these green lights, then it will show you walking through. I'll be able to see you. Is there any reason why you haven't moved on? Is there anything you need help with? Do you like it here? Do you talk to the other spirits here? Do you play with the cat?
there anything you want to say to me? Okay, we can try the spirit box. I will ask you pretty much the same questions I just asked you, but you will be able to speak directly through the spirit box. And with the white noise, it might actually lend some energy to you. That way it may make it easier for you to interact.
incredibly loud. <laughs> so the EVP recorder is still going. So if there's anything that you'd like to say, you can say it directly into the recorder. And I'll be able to hear it when I play it back. Now I do understand that sometimes it can be really hard for spirits to gather energy in order to interact with tools. And I understand that completely. I don't, I cannot say that I, well, I mean, I can't say that I understand completely because I don't know what it's like to be on the other side and, and being asked to interact with tools that are from this world. I don't know how that all works. But I would imagine that it's very hard to do so. I did hear some responses on the spirit box and I will go through the recording just to double check to make sure I heard what I heard. And even though we didn't have any interaction between the spirit balls, I mean the, the blink, blinky balls and the EMF and things like that, we don't need all the bells and whistles to know that you're here. And I know I can feel you and you've been here a long time and you've always had a very soft but kind energy and you know I just wanted to get to know you and just for you to know that you're not forgotten and that you're part of my family and that you're welcome to stay here for as long as you'd like and if you want help crossing over and moving on I can help you with that too so you can just let me know what it is that you would like to do in that recorder. Well, thank you so much, Samantha, for taking the time to talk with me through the spirit box and hopefully the EVP recorder. And I appreciate you sharing your energy. And, you know, um, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.